memories of their semi-final exits five days ago have to be moved from the front of their brains to allow that ambition, that determination, that belief to come to the fore once again. Punching and punching against this French wall. Desperately trying to get themselves a last half metre or so over. Now, I think John Mason, the television match official, has been brought in. Let's have a listen. It was a pick and go from the South Africans. There is Ruben Van Eden scoring at the bottom of the post, and he is allowed by the laws. Gets himself in the right body position. The South African pack have been doing Tom, well. They've I been getting good purchase from the pick and go. You may award the try. Okay, thank you, time on. Take by Pizzanti. Say more, say more. That's a good power play, Maul. Mavaka driven over the line by his teammates and getting the ball down. There's the score that the French needed before half time. Deserved reward, and yet again, Piato Mavaka is the man who comes up with a smile on his face. Good options in the lineup. They stayed strong, South Africa. They, they numbers on the wrong side of that mall. Patience was the call and that was the key. Ball was shifted to the back. And Piatu Muvaka scores the try. Here's another scrum half taking the kick. Wearing the 10 shirt today, Baptiste Couillou with a fairly simple 9-iron to give France the lead for the first time. Guys, it's no war. Vice captain Quabala. It's North Nakhil. And there is Augustus on the charge once again, the joint top try scorer in this tournament. There's Quabala taking it back. And Quabala gives South Africa the perfect start to this second half. They've come out of the blocks flying. Kept his width was Quabala. Carries the ball in two hands into the space. Goes over the hooker. Somebody from the UK. Little wraparound ball, but the interception is there, and running away is David Britz, and is that the key score in this bronze medal match? Coming up hard onto the line, 14.10 around for the South Africans. Against the run of play, read it in very well, got himself into right position, cracked on the pace. And you can see the celebration and elation from the young man. Grobola. Oh, nice footwork from Lombard. Back to the hooker. It's try number two for South Africa's number two. And this game is all but done with a quarter of an hour left now. Oh, the combination between the nine, Ambrose, Papier. Behind and the hooker Krabula does it again. There's Morat. Numbers out, Brits again, challenging the French defenders to take him down. Well, it's over, and guess who scored? He scored in every match that he's played in. Juana Augustus takes his tally to seven. He is now top of the log in this tournament. Brits does well to get over the gain line. A good read for Augustus, knowing that he can use his body position and his leg power to get over for another try, the seventh one for the tournament. The young man has really stood up to the challenge. Limited impact, but he's lifted his leg. Retier takes it quickly, though. Retier over the line. Has he got it down? No, don't go in. Eight. The reception committee have stopped him, but they haven't stopped Coyoud. Baptiste Coyoud gets a score for France, which gets the flags a waving. Yeah, well, that's my tackle. That's why the Villiers has lost the ball. That is it. That is done. 
South Africa recover from the disappointment of loss in that semi-finals to England to produce a second-half performance that takes the bronze medal once again. Um, yeah, obviously, um, after losing the previous one against England, it was uh, quite disappointing, but really proud of the way the guys picked themselves up. And yeah, we've got to win out today and uh, end it on a high. So yeah, very pleased and uh, very happy with the victory. Yeah, I think the first half we didn't really play the rugby we wanted to play and in the second half it came through a bit better. Um, but like I said, it was a great campaign for us and it's sad that it must come to an end. Um, but it's been a great tournament, learnt a lot. Um, so yeah, really pleased with the, with the outcome. Yeah, you know, it's always tough against the South African boys, you know. We lost today, could have won, could have lost, you know. This sport, in this sport you win some, you lose some, you know. So we'll just come back next year, be stronger, hope to win it next year, get a better performance, you know. You know, we use this tournament, you know, get the most experience possible for next year, you know. We knew we weren't going to win it. We wanted to get a medal already. No French team got a medal. So we're very disappointed with the result today. But, you know, just learn and come back stronger next year.